Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. As we read through the scripture together, the verse that stuck out to me today comes from Psalm 119, the first two verses, verses one and two. And it says this, joyful are the people of integrity who follow the instructions of the Lord. Joyful are those who obey his laws and search for him with all their hearts. What I want to talk about today is simply this, joy from obedience, joy from obedience. That makes me think about um, speeding. So I don't normally speed in the city, but when I get on the highway, I'll speed a little bit. I'll beat that, I'll beat that, uh, that speed limit just a little bit. And when I do speed, I am always on the lookout, right, for someone with a, you know, with a little gun that's going to zap me and give me a ticket. So I'm constantly on alert. When I actually slow down, I'm just talking about my own personal experience. When I actually slow down on the interstate and I follow the speed limit, I don't actually look for cops, right? Because I'm going the speed limit and I relax and I actually enjoy the drive more because I don't have to worry about, oh, is someone going to catch me? The same thing is true. The same thing is similar when, when I and when you and I obey God. There is a joy and a freedom that comes from obeying God. When, when you are following God, when you are following his word, you don't have to, like me looking out at a cop, you don't have to look over your shoulder and say, oh, am I going to get caught for this? Or, or do I have shame over this? Or do I have guilt over this? Because you're experiencing the joy and the freedom that comes with following the boundaries that God put in our lives for our own good. I think of David in Psalm chapter 15. Uh, in Psalm 51, David has sinned egregiously against God, right? But in Psalm 51, he is repenting of his sins. He's turning back to God and he says this. He says, restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Because David had walked away from God, had walked away from what God had for, for his life. And so he was living in guilt. He was living in shame. He was living under the oppression of going against God. And so he says, Father, teach me to obey you so that I can restore that joy that I once had. So there comes joy from obedience. Let's take this truth and turn it back into prayer to God. Father, we thank you that you are gracious enough to instruct us and tell us what you are like and what you expect from us. We thank you for that. So allow us, like David, give us willing hearts to obey you so that we can experience the joy of our salvation. We love you. It's in the name of your son that all of God's people said, amen. I'd love for you to join us at graceunitedlr.com. Just find the Bible study and we'll do this together. See you again tomorrow. Bye.